Ted, oh, ask me why I'm eating chicken. Okay. Schlatt, why are you eating chicken? Mm, I'll tell you why. Because I had the most fantastic dinner tonight with the most fantastic people of all time. Let me tell you exactly wow. what happened. I'm a fan of Korean barbecue. You know that? Yeah. You know, you know why? The beef bulgogi. The bulgogi. The bulgogi. Exactly. The, the beef, beef bulgogi. The beef fucking bulgogi. Yeah, so I go course. down to Korean Korean barbecue bulgogi Man. place. Bulgogi. And it's going great. And it's going great, right? Sure. Yeah. I enjoy beef bulgogi. We have the hot plate. You know, you, you take the tongs. They just give you raw meat. By the way, easiest business idea of all time. Just open up a Korean barbecue restaurant. You don't even have to cook the shit. Yeah, you don't you have just to. hoard True. piles of meat in the fridge, and when people ask, you bring it out, and they cook for you. Yeah, They'll cook they it e if you make them angry enough, though. And they don't I've even noticed. have to take the time to develop their menus either. All they got to do is just like, let's just put together a list, and then they can buy that list, and then they yeah. tell us what they want from the list, and then we'll just throw, <laughs> we'll just come over, give them a fucking iron bowl with all of the meat exactly. just tossed in. Exactly. And, and a really hot anyway. rock. They probably don't even know what they're picking. You just no. give them a bunch of something. A truck comes out with all the meat and a really hot rock. You put the meat on the rock, <laughs> fucking easy. All you need is a microwave to run a Korean barbecue restaurant. You just heat up a, a, a rock and then put food on. Anyways, uh, the meat's coming out, right, guys? The bulgogi's yeah. coming out. I'm does. cooking the bulgogi. I'm taking bulgogi, put it on the plate. Cook bulgogi. Delicious. Most bulgogi, delicious thing bulgogi. in my life. Ah. I eat so much of this. So much of this stuff. Like I we get we get three fucking servings of this of this shit. And I'm cooking it. And around the second around the second serving, I'm feeling a little bit full, but I'm I'm brave tonight. I'm feeling brave. Some might say my eyes are bigger than my stomach, but uh I order another dish. Another plate of bulgogi comes out. And around halfway through, I am feeling full. I mean feeling big. He's feeling large. I am feeling big, very big. I could James not in the eat giant peach mm. big. I could not eat another bite of bulgogi, even if I wanted to. I bet you did. The waitress comes by. I ask for the check. Mm -hmm. She brings the check. Mm -hmm. And she says, you know, there's a surcharge if you leave meat on the plate. <gasps> oh, oh Schlatt. How, How much, much meat did you have you left? How much did you leave it on was, that It was... It was there was a pile of meat oh, on that thing. No. There was a pile. Oh, there was a no. pile of meat on the plate, boys. Oh, and you know what the worst part is? What? It had been on the plate for like twenty minutes, and it was all burnt. Oh. oh and I no. say to the lady, I say to the waitress, this nice waitress who did a by the way terrible job of serving me the whole time. Oh my she God. forgot my sweet corn. She didn't bring hot sauce out until I was like on my second plate of bulgogi. She gave me the wrong drink when I asked for a refill. She gave me fucking Dr. Pepper. I drink Diet Coke. And so this was the last fucking straw. This is the last fucking straw. And so I exploded. I exploded at her. And I said, ma'am, you, you, you really should have told me that before I got another helping of bulgogi and then left it on the fucking plate. As I'm trying to scrape it off the plate with the tongs, it's literally charred on the other side. Charred why did you fucking leave meat. The because I was leave? done eating it. I was done eating it, Ted. Okay, That's where so the meat goes. Just left they give you these the tiny. Though, right? They give you these tiny little plates that can't fit anything. And you're supposed to, you know, as it's cooking. You put, you take a little bit, you put it onto your plate. That's how, that's how the okay, place so works. You're you know? telling me that your normal way that you go about cooking is that you're cooking something, something <laughs> you're cooking, you're having a good time. And then you determine how much you want to eat of that. And then you leave the rest of the food are on the hot on, burner. On the turned still on cooking. burner. Mm. Ted, this, mm. I'm I, done. I was done. <laughs> I was done. No one else was going to eat this shit. I was done eating it. Have you ever heard of the concept of uh, cooking at home? Because bro, I'm if they you, if they you, do not give you enough real estate on the plates to put the pile of meat that was left I'm onto the plate. Right. It just wouldn't work. Right. But it had to cut the meat had to come on a plate before you moved it onto oh, the burner. Oh, that's true. And I yeah, we did to, have a big plate. I don't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that now. That was totally a huge plate off to the left side. Regardless, <laughs> the meat stayed on the burner, and it was charred and burnt and disgusting. And I say to the lady, Miss, you really should have told me about this policy before I left it on the burner, and now it's, I'm just fucking trying like to I scrape do, it off. I do with all my food when I'm done with it. Fucking when I'm scrape cold. it off with a, with a wooden little chopstick that's singeing as I, as I try and 
pull all the meat off and I put it onto the plate finally. And it's a huge pile of meat. And I'm like, miss, I can't, I'm not eating this. This is burnt meat and it will not taste good. And you should have told me this policy before I ordered the third one. And like, that's just something you should say. By the way, if you don't eat the food, we charge you for for what you leave. So I hate to break this to you, Schlatt. um, But when we went out for Korean barbecue in LA, when you guys were out here for Chuckle Week, we did go to a place that, and we talked about it. Because what did we talk the, about? Because remember the strategy Uh-oh. that we that we were told about for getting we rid told of about? the meat that you could have done. What? You take the meat, right? Uh huh. You want to get. You just start piling it into your mouth. You got a full mouth, and then uh-huh. you think you're you're sitting there with a full mouth of people gogging. You think to yourself, <laughs> "Oh, I need to go to the bathroom." So you walk oh. to the bathroom, <laughs> and you take a and you big, spit it out quote into unquote the dump. <laughs> In that Big bathroom, dump. Mm. flush. You, you blow up that bathroom. Yeah, no. Uh, whoever we were there with, somebody. I don't know if it was Charlie or if, or if it was Shay. Like somebody told us about it's both of us. Go, somebody going to didn't, the bathroom. I didn't realize this was happening. Well, or I would have said, or I would have said something. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't happening to us. This was. This well, was. Go, a, go to the this was. A, <laughs> <laughs> this was. A, this was a separate story your entirely. Food, you beast. But you should have done that. You should have just shoveled all that shit in your mouth and then gone to the bathroom and taken a well, big quote-unquote dump. It's, Ted, this still, is a- it's still raw on the plate, not going to stop me. <laughs> just fucking shoveling bro. it. Bro, you don't understand. I was locked in. I was locked down. She was staring at me. locked in? Dude, you're I kid you not. The, the restaurant was, was not too crowded tonight. Well, they got it was not too crowded. In there, it's Tuesday, the listen, it's Tuesday night. Waitress isn't doing much. She yeah. was at the fucking table. Even if I recalled that bit of information, well, she, was hanging she would out not you? let it fly if all of a sudden I just started piling all the meat into my mouth <laughs> no, you and say, walked you in. Say, ma'am, ma'am, I have to, I have to shit. And you just start. <laughs> how much do you think, how much do you think that they pay her to care that much? Do you think that they pay her enough that I don't she know. would like, should let that you. The thing. have to say that's something. If you were like, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, oh. Dude, imagine, <laughs> do a, imagine that, yeah, imagine that exact situation. Schlatt's just like, there's a surcharge. He goes, oh, no. And then he just starts piling it in his mouth. And then someone from across the room, one of the, one of the people who works there, he's like, he's going for the bathroom. And he's like, he's doing the bathroom technique. <laughs> she, like it's fucking tackled by like three of the workers. Dude, you make like, spit you, it out. You don't make that much. You don't own <laughs> equity in the fucking business. Why do you care? If some of your raw meat goes missing, buy more. You don't even have to prepare it. I don't understand. It's so silly. And I, and I said, miss... I, I, I laid out my whole my whole spiel, my whole reasoning as to why I was not going to eat this extra meat. You were monologuing. Fil- a filibuster. Good old and fashion. She's, and she straight up just says, no, you have to eat it <laughs> unless you're going to pay pay for more meat. And right. so she and grabs you, know you by me? your stupid fucking man <laughs> bun and starts pushing you towards the plate. And you said, no, no, I don't want it. No, 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 I only have the amount for the exact amount I expected to eat. And she says, well, I guess you'll have to pay for it in another way. And she says, consume, boy. <laughs> and I had to, and, and, and she was not taking it. She was not taking it. I mean, like she was really allegiant to this, to this capitalist business. And so you're going after so, capitalism now. That's your thing. This is capitalism's fault. This is <laughs> yeah. capitalism's fault. That's what man. I'm saying, man. I don't want to pay for extra meat that I didn't that, like. It's not. It's not my fault. You already. Pay, it's already buffet style. You gotta pay. Like somewhere I, didn't, I already paid like thirty bucks. Like it, it's yeah, not thirty bucks okay, of meat that they pulled fair, out. To be fair, you say it's an easy business. Any buffet, right? You can't just pile your fucking plate high. Well, actually, I guess because yeah, they you don't. Can. Let, no, they don't let you like take it all, right? But you, I've never seen it so that if you leave buffet stuff on your plate, they get mad at you. I will they say, they do. I've never That's seen how that. it works here. That's how it works in Korean barbecue, apparently. I think, and I just didn't remember. I didn't remember, and she didn't tell me, and she didn't let me. She didn't let me off the hook, and so and here she, I am yep. th- eat, eating burnt meat. Like here my dinner are. was so go to, delicious. You got to go to Squid Game next week just to pay no, off the bulk. Exactly. I, 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 like my dinner was so good. I I love 
Korean barbecue. I love it so much. A Ted knows how much I fucking love beef he bulgogi. Really does. It he, is my favorite food. It is the only food that I have a like a like a subconscious response to really good tasting food where I'll close my eyes as I'm eating it and like shake my head like that. No, there's no way. There's no way it tastes this good. <laughs> it's the only food that makes me do that. And I was loving it before. I was. Uh, I mean, it was just such a good night. Um, and then I and then I had to eat like half a pound of charred, burnt disgusting bulgogi because i was not going to pay extra money for leaving it on the plate man i can only imagine how miserable you must have been oh it completely this ruined the of, dinner you sort of deserve this though in many ways though you've got the pope behind you and you what? know what are you and talking you know, about? no you know turn to the pope and maybe maybe say a prayer because you know that gluttony is a sin. where was ted where was god that night i don't know how was it gluttony god. how was it gluttony i didn't even eat all the meat no, you know what they I think. It was, you know what I think it was, Ted. I think it was greed. I think it, uh, there was a I little think, you bit know of greed. What? I think there was a twinge. Well, of honestly, lust. there was greed because then he, he then he he engaged in gluttony by shoving more of that meat into his mouth, so he didn't have to use his money. And so he was doing. Honestly, he had a double whammy sin right tonight, there. That tonight, tonight, Ted, it seems, like, it seems like the wrath is really coming out tonight. Oh my God! Well, goddamn! Let's lock this man six layers deep. That's what I think. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm thinking. You know. Listen, Schlatt, I think that you really, you really could have. This could have gone better for you in terms of the money section, though, if you mm. had known about this one restaurant in China. Have you heard of this restaurant? Well, I've seen it a couple times on Reddit or something. But there's a restaurant, at least in this case in China, that <laughs> it's really terrible. It offers discounts to people based on what size they can fit through of a. Uh, of these metal bars. If you look what? in the chat there that I've oh put, my it's God. a bunch what? of metal bars. And depending on which one you can fit within, you get a higher discount oh if my you're God. skinnier. So wow, so that, you'll eat less. So for the people that go there all the time, <laughs> they pay like full price for the, the I think the idea is like the, the people who are, you know, eating a lot and are gaining more weight are there customers that they want to be paying full price so if the mm. i don't know but business you know, by so the maybe they curve. just hate that's kind of people. a really bad just, way to get people to come back though oh isn't it's it? incredibly messed up i don't think that anything like that would necessarily fly in the united eat states eat here one time we'll love it eat here twice we will body shame you immediately <laughs> at the door we'll body sh <laughs> look that's just not how you run a business what's raffling clowners and i just wanted to take a second to thank the sponsor for this episode hello fresh with HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered straight to your doorstep. You can finally skip those annoying trips to the grocery store and make cooking fun, easy, and affordable. Fall can be crazy, and time can be hard to find, but HelloFresh helps you save time on the meal prepping, the grocery shopping, and the chopping, so you can get back to doing what you love. After all, that hedgehog you gotta get done for your advanced balloon animals class won't nod itself. And not just that, HelloFresh is over 30% cheaper than going to the grocery store. You'll be saving time and money on not buying excess foods with their pre-portioned ingredients. When I was in actual real college, my classes in YouTube left me with not a lot of time. So Grace and I actually cooked a bunch of HelloFresh meals, and it saved us a lot of time, a bunch of money, and was generally just really fun <laughs> to get in the kitchen with someone and have cooking made easy. One of our favorites was the pulled pork with the pineapple salsa, so if you get the chance, Gobble, gobble. So, my hungry, hungry boys, go to HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 and use code Chuckle14 for up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Chuckle14 and use code Chuckle14. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Eat it. Let me tell you, and I guess the moral of the story, uh, how not to run a business also is to give your... <laughs> Give your clients a delicious, delicious meal. Have them thoroughly enjoy the whole thing. Yeah. And then at the end say, no, you have to eat all the burnt shit too. Or else we're going to make you pay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you before you started eating or before you ordered that. 
But now that you're here and you said you're done and the there's still meat on the table, burnt? It pr- Ted, it probably, I'll be honest, it probably uh, no, did. It's a lot of this it seems didn't... incredibly self-inflicted. Well, yeah, I feel like this no. is really, well, okay, Schlatt. I'm the victim <laughs> here. Schlatt, admit I'm the How victim. How did it burn, Schlatt? How did it, it burn? T- it sucked. It sucked. So it sucked. It completely, so I'm telling you, completely that, ruined that my dinner. That doesn't really link in my head. I feel like <laughs> I'm missing a couple little pieces here. Did you think, Schlatt? That when you walked into this restaurant, they were like, welcome to our Korean barbecue restaurant. Also, if you don't eat all of the sign food, this. we will charge you. Here's the fine print. Please read and sign I'm this. Say, I'm saying, like, I mean, you should make it abundantly clear that if you order another plate and you don't eat the whole thing, we're going to charge you before the f- the fucking food comes. How much is bathroom, the Bathroom. Okay. Bathroom's right that gotta, way. X-rays next to it to scan you for secret meat. I guess we got to sort of determine what the reason and level for this absolute fucking drama that you've brought onto the podcast is, Schlatt. How much was the surcharge? I don't... I didn't even... I didn't care to ask. All I know is that you I was not even going to pay. You didn't read it. You Dude, didn't even read it. Was it could have been two dollars. You goddamn. It could have been two fucking dollars, and I still would have eaten that. I still would have. I still would have scraped you, all that man. fucking it's burnt bulgogi you. off the hot plate and eaten it myself. Dude. I still would have done it. I was not going to pay a fucking surcharge. Oh Fuck my you. God.